Scientists at this laboratory are working to make the production of diamond coatings faster and less expensive. Instead of a microwave, they're using a laser. This laser is so hot that it can literally melt bricks. A rod of titanium is used to ignite hot plasma made of argon gas. This hot plasma is used to precipitate diamond crystals from methane onto a metal plate. The hot argon plasma runs at about 20,000 degrees Celsius, over 20 times hotter than the other method. At this temperature, the diamond material precipitates in half the time over the other method. Evaluating the success of this method requires only a scan under an electron microscope. You can see the diamond structure very clearly in this microscope view. Pursuing a goal more valuable than diamonds, these scientists are working on a nuclear fusion reactor in Germany. Nuclear fusion is the process that occurs in stars. If they are successful, they could literally harness the energy of the sun. This achievement would provide us with an unlimited amount of energy. In a star, hydrogen gas is turned into plasma. The hydrogen protons are brought together to form helium atoms. This reaction releases a great deal of heat and radiation. Like charges repel each other. So how does a star overcome this basic physical principle? The answer is easy, high pressure and temperature. The high pressure comes from the force of gravity. The high temperature comes from other hydrogen protons that are fusing and releasing energy. Recreating these conditions on Earth might be the greatest scientific achievement of all time. Plasma is heated by lasers and microwaves and placed in the center of this circular magnetic field. The plasma must be kept away from the metal sides of the reactor. If it touched the sides, they could melt and plasma will cool down. Scientists are still trying to create a high enough pressure to force the hydrogen protons to collide with each other and fuse into helium. They have done some of this work by computer modeling and have constructed a new kind of magnetic cage that is now being tested.